When I first started gardening as a teen, I tried sowing vegetables directly where they would grow. Soon I discovered how starting in cups and later transplanting had several advantages. It gave me better control during the most crucial step of growth. But one thing bothered me, using disposable plastic. I had to try something else. I just returned from a flea market and I have a cache of cups, old cups here. The thing is, I'm trying to diminish my plastic consumption. So I had to come up with a new idea of how to raise seedlings in cups. I previously used plastic cups, disposable cups, and while I did reuse them several times for several years, I wanted to transition into something more durable and that at the same time would reduce waste. So porcelain, discarded porcelain, was the thing. I got this for a couple of bucks, very cheap. Some of them are dented, some of them are just mismatched. Overall, it's stuff that people are throwing away. There isn't much of a market value, so I'm just gonna make something that's gonna be valuable for me. Although I was initially looking for ugly corporate mugs, but only found these teacups for cheap that day. Recently, people just have not been enamored by China, by elaborate dining sets. Frankly, people don't do dinner parties as much as before. But it's a shame to see material that took so much embodied energy going to waste, being destroyed and not having any use. Arguably, well, China didn't have much of a use because usually it just sat in China cabinets. So I'm going to put it to use. But before I do that, I need to do something very vital for it to work as a cup for starting seeds. It needs a hole because seeds do need very well-draining soil. They cannot afford to have their roots just be bogged down by water and rot. So to do that, I'll need to drill some holes. Drilling holes in China, while it may appear to be something very difficult to do, it's possible. So if I wanted to drill the hole, I would, of course, need a drill. As much as I love using old tools, now is not the time to use something like this. You're going to need to bring out the modern electrical drill. If you want to turn a ceramic vessel into a plant pot, you will need to drill a drainage hole using a special diamond bit. It must be done with water to control the temperature and dust. Remember to wear gloves and eye protection because ceramic can shatter under the stress of drilling. It is also a good idea to have someone help you drizzle the water as you drill. Alternatively, you can do this under a dripping faucet as long as you don't electrocute yourself. I like to place a large sponge under the piece to cushion it and then I start drilling at a 45 degree angle without applying much pressure. There are certain things to keep in mind when doing this so that things go on smoothly. First, you want to keep your piece stable, so have a good grip, but don't press too hard because porcelain is very, very fragile and it could shatter and you could have a mess. So keep it firmly in place, but gently. Uh, the other thing is to keep your drill at a 45 degree angle. If you're using one of these hollow tube um, drill bits here with the diamond tips, because otherwise your drill is going to go everywhere and you need to have control. And remember to wear your safety gear once more and never allow the spot to be dry. Always have some water there. And if you go slowly but surely, you'll have a nice drilled hole and you'll have a new container to plant things in. Let the drill do the work slowly. At first you may think nothing is really going on, but then suddenly the drill will drop into the hole, so be prepared for that. As for this crazy idea of using fine china to raise seedlings to avoid plastic, it certainly is a far-fetched shenanigan. If you want to avoid disposable plastics, 
just reusing plastic nursery pots that are being thrown away by someone else or repurposing old food containers would be more than enough. But when I saw these cups for less than $3, I had to try it. I admit, I am exaggerating here with the whole nostalgia thing, but it is partially to prove a point. We were able to garden without plastics at all less than 100 years ago, and it seems that today we are 100% addicted to it. I'll be back right after this commercial. If you're loving the video and would like to help me produce more, you can purchase an original painting from my Etsy shop or support me through Patreon. Your direct support is the reason why I have been able to produce two episodes a week during the spring, so thank you. Ultimately, better material engineering is needed to replace all gardening plastic with a sustainable, affordable, biodegradable solution that works just as well as plastic. Until then, I'll carry on with these weird experiments. I still think the bigger old mugs nobody wants could be a better solution than these, but at least by watching this you can learn how to drill holes in ceramic vessels to make your own creative houseplant containers. Actually, these teacups would look cool with succulents or string of pearls planted in them. There's one more thing to consider, and that's the shape of the cup. I got most of them as the regular teacups, but that's just because that's what I found. Um, ideally, I would get more of cups like these. I only found a few of these. These are the perfect shape. They're tall, have a lot of space for the root to develop. They are not too wide, so they're narrow. And they are very smooth and they flare slightly up. You don't want anything that has a lip that will undercut or will create a barrier for when you're taking out the soil um, ball here because that's just going to really mess everything up. So make sure to have cups that flare out and don't have any lip that will prevent the, the root structure here, the cylinder of root and soil to come out easily once it's ready to be planted. But that being said, I am ready to go plant. Why do I consider plastic to be such a negative material? Because it is not biodegradable, all the while I'm using ceramics that are also not biodegradable and become useless once broken. And you are correct to think that. Of course, I'm partial to ceramics. I just like it aesthetically as it ages, crackles, and discolors. I think it gains character and depth. It is a rich looking material, while plastic in all honesty looks wretched, even when brand new and it just gets worse as it ages. That's an aesthetic value judgment. And frankly, while we don't like to admit it, a lot of human activity is heavily influenced by aesthetics. And to deny that in favor of a 100% functional view just doesn't put into consideration the full human condition. But when plastic breaks down, it does pollute, wreaking havoc for marine life. Glass and ceramic also won't biodegrade, but they are inert and don't pollute, because as they break down, they become essentially sand. But creating glass or ceramic takes a lot of energy, so they're not very sustainable. However, reusing these materials that were destined to trash is still desirable because they can still serve a purpose and last long if well taken care of. Pretty soon these seeds are gonna sprout and I'll have some lettuce starts to plant directly in the ground. Now, you may be thinking, why go through all this trouble just to have some pots? Sure, I could and I should reuse the plastic cups that we already get in nurseries. But I'm trying to move away from buying things from nurseries and growing things myself. Also, by not using plastic, I am actively choosing to find alternatives that are as effective but not as detrimental to the to the environment because plastic once produced will stay as plastic for a long time but at the same time it just breaks down and becomes less usable. Now these ceramic pots, or china, fine china, 
they have already been produced. They are something that people are throwing away. They, even though it's ridiculous to have fine china to use it in this purpose, for this purpose, why not use it if it's going to go to waste, if it's going to go to the landfill? The good thing about this is that it's glazed, so it behaves pretty much like plastic in terms of water retention. The only downside is it breaks more easily, but that can be remedied just by being careful. This should last me several years. That's what I hope for. Um, in case, it's a nice thought. And even if it turns out to not be practical, it's kind of cool. There are other alternatives to this. You can use a soil blocker. That is a tool that forms little blocks out of potting mix where you place them into a tray and once the seedlings grow you can more easily separate them. I haven't tried them personally, perhaps I should. There may be some disadvantage to them that I'll only know once I try. Surely they are a much saner solution to the problem, however I must admit being a bit crazy at times is fun. Follow me in my journey to discover if there is any method to my madness and to find out how this lettuce turns out. See you in the next episode.